Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. This time we are going to talk about switches with a different type, also proximity switch and ultrasonic switch. I have such ultrasonic device with me, it's not really a switch, however it's this device here. This device, look at that, that's an ultrasonic module, it's called HCSR0.4 and we see two two similar looking things. However, those similar looking things are different. One is labeled with T and one is labeled with R. This T means transmit and this R means receive. So one is a speaker and the other one is a microphone. And you also see there down VCC, trick, echo and, and ground. What does this mean? VCC and ground is the power supply, so you need to power supply this. Yeah? And on the top, this, 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 this silver thing here, that's, that's a quartz, a, a crystal, a swinging crystal, which will produce a sound we cannot hear. Yeah? With high pitch, simply ultrasound, yeah? ultrasonic, so, and the transmitter, the T part, this part, this is then um, issuing this sound yeah? and then we receive on the echo pin a high level, yeah? some voltage on the echo pin until we receive an echo on the receive. Yeah? Of course there is some, some maximum time and that's it. Yeah? So actually it's really working with echo, yeah? sound and echo. That's it, how this is working. Good, so let's summarize. Yeah. There is some device which is issuing ultrasound. Yeah. That's the transmitter. And then we have a receiver. And then we have object. If there is an object, we receive here this is ultrasonic and we receive an echo. This is the echo. And from the time between the send of the ultrasonic sound and the receiving of the ultrasonic sound, we can determine how far the object is away. All right? Or if there is even an object, because this ultrasonic sound will disappear over time or will be, the echo will be that weak that we cannot drive the receiver. Yeah? So actually what, what we do measure, yeah? what we do take into account is the time. Okay. So we have the time yeah. and this here the echo pin. This is the point send ultrasonic impulse and here we are we receive. We receive the echo and if this from this delta D here, it's proportional to distance. All right, it's proportional to distance. So the only thing we have to do is to determine if this delta D is within a certain range, and then I can say, okay, I detected the object, right? 
attention, it will travel both times the distance, so this delta t is proportional to twice the distance. However, this factor 2 is factor 2 simply, yeah? because the sound has to go back also. Yeah? So that's it. This is what an ultrasonic switch is doing. Yeah? This device here can even be used for, for uh, measurement, for distance measurement. Yeah? However, if we trigger an each, if we just trigger something, if the delta t is small enough, then we also have a switch. Okay? This can be done with a little controller, or this can even be done with some electronics. Yeah? Then you charge here over this time, you charge some, some capacitor. And if the capacitor has reached a certain level, you say, okay, I have nothing detected. If not, yeah, you have detected something. Yeah. This would be a possibility of ultrasonic switches. Yeah. Then you just need to have somewhere a potentiometer or something like this, which is uh, influencing this delta T, yeah, you, so that you can adjust the switching distance. Ultrasonic switch. Rather easy, right? Shout and wait for the echo, yeah? like a bat, like a bat. <laughs> bat device. Yeah. Bruce Wayne would be proud. <laughs> okay, next time another approach. Next time we're talking about piezoelectric things, piezoelectric switches. Yeah? Therefore we talk about the piezoelectric effect and so on. How this is working, next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.